David Stremme leads him down as a three and four. Here comes Jackson. He'll complete the pass off a of four, but him and Stremme get together. Here comes off the belly on the bottom. Checker flag is out. Who's going to win it? Hey, race fans, this is Chet Christner with your Comp Cam's top five moments on flow racing from this past week. Was well, second here in a 360 in April. That's Bloom's. Oh, what a wheel still. Oh, my. Paging Chet Christner. We just found something to put in the Comp Cam's top five. You rang. At number five, making his debut with the Tezos All-Star Circuit of Champions, Derek Houck hiked the Hoosiers not once, not twice, but thrice during his qualifying run at Bloomsburg Fair Raceway. And it wasn't just the front two, he managed to dangle all four donuts while delving some dirt with the rear bumper. Bang, zoom, you're going to the moon. That's two classic TV references for the price of one, folks. Craig's in the walls. Number four makes me want to lay down and cry. It's ProMod qualifying round three during the National Muscle Car Association's All-American Nationals at Summit Raceway Park, and Craig Sullivan unleashes El Mero Mero from the line. A slip of the grip just prior to the 330 mark, and Craig is around and into the wall. The heartbreak is El Mero Mero's a gorgeous, and I do mean a gorgeous, one-off 49 Mercury ProMod. I had the opportunity to interview Craig at PRI last year. You can check that segment out up on your Flow Racing app and learn that they have what they need to repair the Merc just in case something like this would happen, but man, it still brings a tear to my eye. One lap to go for Danny Dietrich. Brent Marks is right there. Marks will try the inside. He'll drive up in front of Dietrich. Dietrich will turn the car off the cushion and come down the backstretch as they look for a sweep in tonight's Twin 20s. Dietrich goes to the bottom. Marks stumbles on the cushion, and that might be all she wrote. Drag race to the line. Give it to Danny Dietrich. He sweeps the Jack Gun Memorial Twin 20s. It's the Jack Gun Memorial Twin 20s with the Tezos All-Star Circuit of Champions at Williams Grove Speedway for our number three. Into heat race number one, and kablam! It's a tango, a twisted 10 as Hunter Schoenberg and Zeb Wise come together in turn four with Wise upside down and Schoenberg lobbed over the wall. In feature event action, Danny Dietrich would go wire to wire in feature number one, then pull and invert a six for feature number two. In just five laps, Double D would track down and pass Lance DeWeese for the lead, but he wasn't out of the woods just yet. Brent Marks would come to call on the final lap, briefly slipping into the lead in turn number two, but Dietrich was able to rumble back around and complete the sweep at Williams Grove. Give him some love, the madman, Robert Ballou. Drives the Ballou dozer down there to get his class photo. For our number two, it's off to Kokomo Speedway and the Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts Sprint Car Smackdown. Thursday's qualifying in Scurry, Texas, runner Dalton Stevens got off to a rough start on what was to be a rough weekend for him when he biked his way into a vicious cartwheel between turns three and four. In feature event action, quick qualifier Cal Cummins would have to give up his sixth starting position with a flat tire before the feature even began. Kashi came out on lap one, but after that, 20 seconds starting Cummins would charge the field, ripping around Baloo for second, heading towards the final lap. Cal would make a heroic run at Grant in the last two corners but would fall just a bit shy, scoring a second place finish to JG. Fast forward to Saturday where the Blue Dozer made its, his, uh, their way to the infield for the pre-race pick. Well played, Robert. Smackdown time and Cal Cummins took the race name quite literally as rolling from the outside of row one, he proceeded to put a clinic on, leading every lap, picking up the $15,000 payday and $20,000 in lap leader money. Cal cashed out of Kokomo with a cool $35,000 and the biggest win of his career. Ripping the lip there off for turn two, but he slipped up. Here comes Hoffman. Hoffman with a run. They drag race down in the turns number three and four. Hoffman has the lead by a nose. Does he slide up in front of Dotson? Dotson now. He's going to go to the outside. Checker flag is out. They drag race to the line. Contact. Who wins it? Who wins it? Looks like it's going to be the double zero of Ethan Dotson. What a finish here at Port Royal. And our number one is a rumble by the river at Port Royal Speedway, where Earl Pearson Jr. snapped an almost two-year winning drought with the Lucas Oil Dirt Late Model Series when he held off Ricky Thornton Jr. for the $50,000 win. But the Modifieds once again stole the spotlight on Friday with Ethan Dotson trying to hold off Nick Hoffman. Hoffman would nose ahead into three, but leave a lane, not much of a lane, but a little bit of a lane on the outside. Dotson would once again squeeze the day to steal the win at the line. 
On Saturday, David Stremme is out front while Keith Jackson slings the slider into turn number three and his left rear grabs Stremme's nose, slowing both cars just enough for third running Mike Latabelli to steal the win in the middle Atlantic Modifieds.